In today's video, we're gonna be running you through the butterfly stroke technique step by step. Now, butterfly can seem like a very daunting stroke for many of us, and one that actually you just don't want to swim. But if you get that stroke right, it can be a very rhythmical action indeed. Butterfly is a tougher stroke to master compared to freestyle backstroke or breaststroke, but by doing a few key things well, you can quickly progress with it. Butterfly is swum on your front, eyes facing down and forwards as in front crawl. However, there is no rotation. Your body should be parallel to the bottom of the pool. Your head leads the movement of the stroke and the rest of your body should follow, causing the undulating dolphin movement. Your arms will provide the majority of your propulsion for this stroke. Once you push off the wall, start your stroke from a streamlined position, pull both your arms back towards your legs simultaneously. Maintain a high elbow position, trying to keep your hands and forearms angled downwards for as long as possible throughout the duration of the pull phase. Then, straighten your arms to finish the stroke off past your hips. As you complete the pull, lift your hands up out of the water before using your shoulders, combined with momentum of your body movement, to draw them out and around in front of your head to start the next stroke. Try to keep your arms and hands clear over the surface of the water during the recovery phase, and to get your hands as far out in front of you as you can before starting the next stroke. Your thumbs should be almost touching as your hands enter the water. Looking forwards and down at the bottom of the pool and pushing your head slightly downwards will help you to bring your arms over more quickly and keep them from catching the water during this recovery phase. A well-timed dolphin kick is essential for an efficient butterfly stroke. Two kicks are performed every stroke cycle, one as your hands enter the water and another as they exit. Generally, the first kick as your hands enter the water is less forceful and is for maintaining good body position, whilst the kick performed as your hands exit the water needs to be much more powerful as it helps maintain momentum to keep you travelling forwards as you lift your head to breathe and recover your arms over the top of the water. To perform dolphin kick, you must drive from your hips, keeping your lower legs relaxed, very similar to front crawl except they're moving together. You'll need to use your core and glutes to help drive your ankles downwards and extend your legs, with your toes relaxed and pointed in order to press down on the water, resulting in that forward propulsion. It's important to perform this motion quickly and forcefully to generate efficient power. Breathing while swimming butterfly is notoriously challenging. However, with practice, it's possible to improve your breathing technique and swim efficiently. The key is timing your head movement into and out of the water. Maintain a neutral down and forward looking head position until your hands are below your body, reaching the most powerful pull phase of the stroke. Then, as your hands start to push back on the water, lift your head to breathe, remembering to only lift your head as far as you need to in order to get in enough air. Your chin should never exit the water. As your arms drive backwards and your legs kick powerfully down to propel you forwards, you can maintain this head up position until you've taken your breath ready for the next stroke. Then as your arms come around on the recovery, tuck your head in to help make more space to get your arms out in front of you and start breathing out as soon as your head is in the water, ready for that next in breath. The main thing to master when trying to swim fly is timing, particularly how you time your kick to maintain momentum throughout your stroke. Now this will enable you to keep moving forwards and breathing easily, helping to maintain a nice fluid butterfly stroke. If you can breathe every other stroke then that is ideal, but it's equally completely fine to breathe on every stroke if you need to. Just make sure to keep that head movement to a minimum. You can improve your butterfly stroke by practicing a number of drills. Kicking with fins can help you improve your ankle flexibility, which is essential for a strong dolphin kick. You can do this either on your back, your front, or your side, and then with your arms either extended out in front of you or relaxed and next to your body. And you'll feel your core and glutes working hard, two areas you want to be strong for an efficient butterfly stroke. 
Swimming with fins is a great way to improve your butterfly stroke. Having that extra propulsion in your kick allows you to focus much more on your arm technique, as well as giving you more speed in the water. And it'll make getting a sufficient breath easier and allow you to continue with the correct stroke for longer. So that is your basic guide to the butterfly stroke. Let us know how your butterfly swimming is going, especially if you've tried it for the first time after watching this. And remember to follow us on social media for more fantastic swimming content.